So, here we have cinematic video and we have portrait video. As you can see on the iPhone, I'm in focus, board frame's not. Board frame and I am focused on the Galaxy. I can switch focus on the iPhone, I can switch it back. Now this is front facing camera. Galaxy, I cannot, but I can change the blurs. So I can have circle, I can have color point, which is actually pretty cool. And I can also have glitch. So that's the difference there. I can also change the intensity on the Galaxy. I can move it back and forth. There you have it. So you guys didn't realize this is the video you were waiting for. Yes, a comparison between cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and portrait video on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Hey guys, Thunder E here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video for more videos like this. So I was out with Board Fam shooting her selfie photo shoot, which she loves to do. Definitely go check out that video. It's going to be awesome. Uh, but I wanted to show you quickly what cinematic mode and portrait video looked like in comparison, right? Uh, both of them shoot 1080p for those modes, but cinematic mode has a different uh, few other features. Now, by the way, that over, uh, over saturation, extra blooming, that's because of the conversion of uh, you know cinematic mode uh, to Adobe Premiere. So, but here's how it looks on your iPhone. It does look good, so don't worry about that. But I wanted to give you that idea. What's the difference? What does it look like? Galaxy has different modes. Cinematic mode has a different feel and functionality together. Now. Before we get more into this though, I did take a lot of low light photos. I wanted to start off with just looking at images of individuals. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Which one is better right here? Okay, so clearly there are advantages and disadvantages to both of them when taking images of individuals outside, uh, especially in a low light environment. And we can see what the Galaxy does by taking a lot of that yellow hue from street lights and the, and the iPhone tries to balance out a bit. But how did you guys picture this? Now, before we go ahead, let's get a quick word from our sponsor. Okay, your corner is back, and this time with a cinematic video. I love this, man. Look at me, says I know some of you are asking where I've been. I've been on, you know, a little sabbatical. You know, I'm just taking a little break, relaxing, you know, enjoying myself. But honestly, I really like this. You know, Apple, Apple, you people are. Ah, I'm looking fine. Oh. Yeah, look, it's good. Anyway, when you finish watching this video, go and watch boyfriend's video. If not, I'm gonna come and catch you. Okay, I'll send my boys to catch you. Yes, thank you very much, but enjoy this. Ha! Take it sexy. Ha! Okay, Singala is back and he had to jump in to make a few some noise. But again, cinematic mode is quite interesting. And seeing how he looks and is and he's captured with that uh, has me thinking, maybe we might do more with Colonel Singala in some cool cinematic videos. Who knows? But going back to some of those images for um, you know low life photography. Uh, what about just stationary positions, environments, uh, ultra-wide shots? What do they look like on both devices?
Now we can clearly see that um, the iPhone does have some advantages, especially with environments where it tries to balance out uh, the colors. So it takes less of this extra orange or yellow light that the Galaxy does. But the Galaxy does well with shadows and darker areas where it brightens that up more. So you can see with the staircase, you can see with the lawn area, things like that are quite intriguing. I think I find both of them to do a good job. I, th I have a feeling that the iPhone has a slight edge in some areas, uh, but you guys leave your thoughts for me on that. And what do you think of uh, cinematic mode and portrait mode? With cinematic mode, you've got that ability to basically change focal points. That's something you can't do on any device. And it looks really good. And I like the feel to it. Now with Boards Femmes, uh, you know, big Afro hair, there's a lot of that, you know, fuzzy feel that doesn't capture well. When you look at something like portrait video though, it does have a couple of option, options. You've got that color point, you've got that, um, you know, like electrostatic, um, and it's got a different feel. You can of course change focal points, but again, it is very interesting. Now, I want your thoughts guys below. What do you think about both videos, cinematic and portrait? Uh, portrait video, and what do you think about low-life photography on both devices? Leave your thoughts down below. Let's discuss and let me know who you think won. So enjoy.